Tanawan City, Batangas Mayor Antonio Halili is shot dead Monday morning, July 2 during a flag raising ceremony in front of City Hall. Police say Halili was declared dead 8.45 a.m. He died from a gunshot wound on the chest. Calabarzon Police Director Edward Carranza says police are still trying to determine the motive. Halili gained prominence for implementing a walk of shame in 2016 when he paraded drug suspects. It was slammed by the Commission on Human Rights as unconstitutional. He was stripped of powers to supervise local police in November 2017 after being linked by the government to illegal drugs. A senator in Guam canceled the planned visit of former Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa to the U.S. Territory's legislature. Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. invited De La Rosa to visit the Guam Congress building Saturday but canceled it on Friday after another Guam senator, Telena Nelson, said it would send the wrong message. Senator Nelson said when numerous human rights organizations alleged that thousands of lives were taken without due process, each of us have an obligation to say no, not stand there for photos. Rodriguez said he canceled the courtesy visit so that he does not subject one of President Rodrigo Duterte's top advisors to that kind of treatment. De La Rosa now heads the Bureau of Corrections. He spearheaded Duterte's widely criticized anti-drug campaign as former PNP chief. At least 4,729 suspects have been killed in the PNP's anti-drug operations, but human rights groups estimate drug-related deaths at almost 20,000. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana slams Communist Party of the Philippines founder Jose Maria Sison for again abandoning peace talks with Philippine government. In a statement, Lorenzana says, quote, Mr. Sison, you know that the peace talks is the only thing that is keeping you in the limelight. Without it, you are irrelevant. This comes after Sison on Thursday said the National Democratic Front, or NDF, can no longer negotiate with the government of President Rodrigo Duterte, quote, based on the implications drawn from the current impasse. Cizon also called for Duterte's ouster in the same statement. The NDF is the political arm of the CPP, which is behind Asia's longest running insurgency. He tells Cizon, quote, I am sure that once you are out of the picture, the true peace will have a chance to become a reality and you will be consigned to the dustbin of history. Lorenzana says the government will now focus on localized peace talks in the absence of CISON. A photo was publicly posted on Facebook by a certain Herbert Florida showing Pope Francis kissing a model on the chest with the caption, What is this? As of posting time, the photo had 60 reactions, 23 comments, and 12 shares. Some of the comments slammed the Pope, calling him a maniac. One commenter even used the photo to justify the kiss of President Rodrigo Duterte to a married overseas Filipino worker in South Korea. Duterte kissed the woman on the lips, but why was there no uproar against the Pope? The verdict? It's fake. The real unedited photo shows only a model named by the website as Vicky Sipolotakis. Pope Francis did not kiss her. She was escorted out for improper attire and never met the pontiff in person. There are a lot of photos of Pope Francis kissing babies on the internet. 